All right, this is John Colo with DiscountJuicers.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. And in this episode, what I'm gonna do for you guys is actually share with you guys how to get the benefits of wine without the alcohol. So you're gonna definitely wanna pay attention to this episode. If you wanna get some of the benefits of wine without the alcohol, or you've heard there's like lots of benefits to wine, and you're considering drinking it, but you don't really do alcohol, like I don't do alcohol, but you wanna get the benefits. There's so many benefits of wine it's actually kind of insane why it's so good for you and actually in later in this episode I'm, we're gonna get into like how to maximize the benefits of wine and other foods that you may be eating but it's also common in common mainstream media these days to make something that's really not so great for you like alcohol which causes DWIs and belligerents and fights I mean I've seen it all in my fraternity days in college. Uh, anyways, things that are not so good for you. Mainstream media makes it out to be, oh, it's so great because drinking some wine could lower your incidences of heart disease, for example. You know, it could lower your incidences of uh, the risks of colon cancer. It can slow your brain decline. I mean, there's so many different benefits of the wine. And so then you drink it and you're like, okay, I'm getting the benefits, but then you're getting buzz. And you might like the buzz. I'm not going to like debate liking the buzz and not liking the buzz. If you guys want to drink, hey, drink. I choose not to drink, but I want to get the benefits of wine without the alcohol. So that's why I'm making this video for you guys to share with you guys how to get the benefits, okay? So let me go ahead and back up here. What is wine made out of? It's made out of grapes, and it's made out of special variety of grapes. Did you know there are actually Cabernet Sauvignon varieties of grapes? There are Malo varieties of grapes. All the different names of the wines, that's actually kind of grape. So what you really want to do is actually you want to get the grape that produces the wine and then you want to drink it. You want to drink the juice of the grape because that's what wine is. They take the grapes, they juice them with the juice presses or maybe in Italy they actually stomp with bare feet. I hope they don't got no toe jams. And uh, they get all the juice out and then they ferment it. And you know in the fermentation process uh, the yeasts uh, basically convert the sugar to alcohol burn off some of that, but then they also leave, you know, a good percentage of the uh, other constituents in the grapes. And there's a lot of things in the grapes, you know, some of the things in the grapes are obviously water, you know, the water content, structured living water, also things like vitamins and minerals, really great for us. Also things like vitamins, you know, vitamins are super important and people think like, oh yeah, vitamins are really important. Well, there's something even more important than vitamins and it's the antioxidants. Uh, plant phytochemicals and phytonutrients in wine there happens to be uh, polyphenols and one of the ones that you may have heard about is resveratrol and resveratrol there's a lot of documented studies on resveratrol and how good it is for you and that's why wine's so good is not because of the alcohol content actually there are studies that have been uh, published that show that if I think they're from like Barcelona that alcohol may dampen the effects of some of the benefits of, of, of the effects of the wine. So, and of the reverse, resveratrol, <laughs> say that five times. Um, so yeah, so we don't want the alcohol, but you could get actually better effects without the alcohol. So that's what I'm gonna show you guys today, how you guys could turn your grapes, whether they're green grapes, red grapes, got some more green grapes or purple grapes, into grape juice. And the grape juice has the benefits of wine without the alcohol because that's what wine is. <laughs> and uh, today what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and use the Omega VSJ843 Slow Juicer. Now, you know, I'm all, all about maximizing the nutrition I get and maximizing the benefits of the foods I eat. There's many different kinds of juicers. There's also blenders. You can surely take the grapes and put them in a blender and make a blended smoothie you know, to blend up and break open the fibrous cell walls of the grapes to get the nutrition in you. You could also take a high speed juicer, such as a Breville Juice Fountain Juicer or other inexpensive department store juicer that runs at high speed, you know, sometimes in excess of 10,000 RPM or revolutions per minute. It runs at a very fast speed. And what the high speed blender does that they most often also run in excess of uh, 10,000 RPMs, much like the high-speed juicers, they're running very fast. And when 
the machine runs very fast, what happens is the machine introduces oxygen into the juice or the blended smoothie in the case when you're using a blender. And the oxygen, what that does, it breaks down the beneficial phytonutrients and phytochemicals like the antioxidant rich resveratrols and other nutrients that are really important for us. For example, there's a published study they did why taking uh, broccoli, putting it in a slow juicer, putting in a high speed juicer, and putting it in a blender that runs at 10,000 RPMs. And after they uh, analyzed the broccoli, whether it's juice or the blended mixture, for polyphenols, they found that the broccoli that went through the slow juicer had higher levels of polyphenols than the blender or the high speed juicer. Now furthermore, they took the results of the broccoli going through the different types of juicers or the blender and they actually put it in a petri dish with live active cancer cells, like I think six different kinds. And overall, there is a greater cancer reduction from the juice made in the slow juicer compared to the high speed juicer or high speed blender. Why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because, you know, if you want to get the most benefits from the grapes, um, you want to do it at a slow speed. And think about it, how is wine traditionally made? They don't use high speed blenders or, you know, uh, juicers to extract the, the grape juice. You, they stomp on it, that's like really low speed, or they use some kind of, you know, slow running, you know, uh, screw press, or basically hydraulic press, or pneumatic press, to press out the juice from the grape. So it does it at very low speed, so it preserves, you know, a lot of those polyphenols and antioxidants and plant phytochemicals. So I want you guys to get the maximum benefit if you guys are really serious about getting the benefits of the grapes. Okay, so that's number one. Use a slow juicer. My favorite one for juicing grapes and other fruits at this time is the Omega VSJ843. I have a really good juice uh, video that I'll link down below if I remember on uh, juicing fruits in the VSJ and why it is superior to other machines. It basically doesn't really clog up like other machines. It also makes a really fine strained juice. Puts very little pulp in the juice and it does amazing from grapes to pineapple to oranges to tangerines to my favorite cactus fruit, um, cantaloupe, watermelon, honeydew melon. I mean, it does it all. I've even used jackfruit, not that I recommend that. Uh, some fruits like mangoes or bananas aren't really meant to be juiced because they're too soft of a texture. But nonetheless, if you want to juice a fruit, the VSJ is going to be one of the best options. Aside from getting one of those hydraulic presses is actually how they press, you know, apple juice for making apple cider or, uh, you know, processing the wine. So one, yeah, use a slow juicer. Number two, make sure you get seeded grapes. This is super important and super critical. You know, besides just the, the coloring of the grape and the deeper the color of the grape, the more antioxidants and a antioxidant compounds there are in the grape itself. So, I mean, the, these dark purple grapes have higher levels of antioxidants than these light, light green grapes. And this is, in general, um, you know, not, but not always across the board with all fruits and vegetables. So, always try to select the darkest, deepest, richest color fruits and vegetables to put in your body, i.e. purple carrots, you know, instead of the orange carrots for higher levels of antioxidants. It's these antioxidants that help keep us young, right? It's like if you scratch your car you live by the ocean, it's going to rust, and it's going to rust really fast. If you scratch your car and you live in Las Vegas, Nevada, where it's arid and dry, barely rains, it's basically never going to rust and it's not going to oxidize. Your cells are oxidizing each and every day, and you can prevent some of this oxidation by eating high antioxidant-rich foods, like fruits and vegetables, including the grapes. Or you can speed up the oxidative damage by eating foods that cause it to happen faster, such as processed foods and animal foods. So yeah, so anyways, in the seeds there are additional antioxidants, one of which is known as pycnogenol, and that's another very powerful antioxidant. And depending on the juicer you're using, some juicers will actually crush up the grape seed and extract the some of the nutrition out of that grape seed 
and put it into the juice coming out of the machine. So crushing style machines, if you have a good first step that's actually grinding, this will do it. If you're just pressing whole grapes, uh, you know, without grinding at first, that may not totally work. Um, uh, high speed juicers tend to kick out the whole seed whole, so that's not really going to do it. You know, that's why I like the uh, single auger style machine. The VSJ is optimized to grinding up, you know, soft seeds like grapes to get the nutrition out and put it in your juice so that you could get all the benefits. And of course, you always want to juice the darkest colored grapes. And I would encourage you guys, you know, as much as I'm juicing uh, just standard table grapes meant for eating today, I would encourage you guys to seek out and find wine grape varietals. I mean, some of the best grapes I've ever tasted are wine grapes, because think about it. The reason why wine grapes taste so good and they're so delicate and intricate in flavor is because that juice becomes the wine and that's why the wine tastes different and tastes amazing. Like I wonder if they ever tried to make wine out of just table grapes, man. It would just taste like crap. And we're, but we're fed table grapes all day long and you could barely find wine grapes to buy in the store, which I think is incredibly sad. But yeah, when I make a grape juice out of uh, wine grapes, it's just simply amazing. You get the darkest color and get the seeded ones. And if you guys want a real treat, look for cotton candy grapes and then juice those. I mean, it, it's going to taste like it sounds. Cotton candy grapes taste like cotton candy. They're really like floral and sweet at the same time. And when you juice it, it's going to blow your mind. <laughs> so yeah, those are my three tips to get the most benefits. Slow juicer, uh, seeded grapes, and darkest pigmented grapes. So I guess without further ado, let's go ahead and juice these grapes. Show you guys how easy it is and how quiet it is in the Omega VSJ843 juicer. So to honor uh, wine today, we're going to go ahead and juice into a wine glass there. Put that right under the spout. Turn this baby on. And uh, we're just going to go ahead and take these grapes and just drop them in one at a time. And the reason why I like this machine is because as fast as you could drop these grapes in there, is as fast as the machine starts to juice it up. And as you guys can see, you know, we're getting the, uh, the juice coming right out of the front of the machine. So I do not recommend actually juicing the stems and also inspect your grapes as you're juicing. Sometimes there's spider webs and bugs and creatures in there. But I do not recommend juicing the stems because the stems may get stuck and caught in the machine and clog it up. Now this machine runs at a low and slow 43 revolutions per minute. It's one of the slowest juicers on the entire planet. And that's why I like it because the slower a juicer runs, the least amount of oxidative damage it's going to do to the juice. Oh wow, look at that, and I just juiced like a whole bunch of grapes, and my glass is already full of the uh, green grape juice. We're going to go ahead and close that guy off here, maybe we'll get a little bit more in there. Look at that, I mean that took no time to get a nice glass of grape juice, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, pour that in a little glass there. Look at that, look at that nice clean consistency. There's like no fiber or anything in this uh, green grape juice. Alright, we're going to go ahead and put that down, and then next we're going to go ahead and juice the red grapes. So, you know, the red grapes, once again, you know, they are higher antioxidant than the standard green grapes. Once again, we just drop these guys in there. So, you know, uh, drinking grape juice has been shown to have many health benefits, and likewise, I would believe that drinking grape juice would have similar health benefits, such as uh, promoting longevity, reducing your heart attack risk right slow your brain decline this is very important right all these things cuts your risk of colon cancer cuts your risk of cataracts lowers your risk of stroke reduces the risk of type 2 diabetes lowers heart disease it can reduce your heart attack risks and promotes longevity now Grapes are not the only food that can confer some of these benefits on you. There are many documented research studies on many different uh, plant foods that can help you do this. Grapes are just a plant food with rich pigments and antioxidants and special uh, plant uh, phytonutrients and phytochemicals. And every different plant food has these benefits. But what we need to do really is unlock the fibrous cell walls 
to be able to get these benefits and that's why I like the juicer because as you guys can see instantly you know we got another glass of uh, the red grape juice here we're gonna go ahead and pour that out. look at that nice consistency there very simple very easy in the Omega VSJ 843 next we're gonna go ahead and juice the black grapes so as I was saying you know every different fruit and vegetable has different levels of phytonutrients and phytochemicals in it and the juicer literally breaks open the fibrous cell walls to let all those phytochemicals, phytonutrients, vitamin minerals out so that our bodies can easily digest them. Because what people don't know is that our bodies can only digest foods that are in a liquid state. There's little villi inside our intestines that basically, for lack of a better word, uh, suck out or draw the nutrition out of the food or the liquids in your stomach and they can't extract things in fiber. So if like you're taking, you're eating lettuce or kale and you take two chews and you swallow, your body is not going to be effective at getting the nutrition out of that unless it's well broken down. Like if you chew your food into mush, like I like to do. But the juicer makes this whole process easier because if you think about it, we are nothing more or less than juice extractors. We eat food like we could eat these grapes like the Cleopatra Times. Wait, I need uh, somebody fanning me while I'm eating my grapes. Um, we eat the food and we chew it into a mush, which is like the machine running. We swallow it and then out one side of us comes clear liquid because our body absorbs all the nutrition in there and at the other end of us comes the fiber. And that's what's happening here. On the front of the machine, the liquid's coming out, and on the side of the machine, all the fiber is coming out so that you don't have to uh, you know, worry about digesting it or chewing your food well. I still do recommend uh, you know, chewing your juice to get the maximum benefit and to mix it with your uh, sal salivary amylase to help get the digestion going. But yeah, besides just the grapes, you know, there's plenty of other plant foods that contain uh, beneficial phytonutrients. For example, Japanese knotweed, which is a weed in many parts of the country in the US and overseas, but that also contains resveratrol. And besides just resveratrol, there are many other different phytochemicals and phytonutrients, such as isothiocyanates in the brassica family of plants. For those of you guys who don't know what brassica family of plants are, those are things like broccoli, kale, cabbage, cauliflower. These have been shown to be anti cancer. Uh, you know, uh, phytochemicals. The same thing in uh, garlic and onion family of plants. They have al alanase, which is also uh, anti-cancer, and every different plant food has a whole spectrum of phytonutrients and phytochemicals, but the juicer is what unlocks it. And that's why I like juicing so much. It really saves me a lot of time. I mean, I couldn't just sit here and eat like bunches of grapes but if you juice this whole pile of grapes here, it'll make a delicious juice, oh, like I'm making here, and then you'll be able to easily drink the juice. Let's go ahead and pour this last one out here, show you guys what it looks like. Nice consistency. All right, which one of these juices do you want to drink? Do you want to drink the green, the purple, or the red? I mean, to me, the one that looks the prettiest is the purple, so we're going to go ahead and drink that one first. Mm. I don't drink, but you know what? That reminds me of drinking wine, but it doesn't have that like bitter, I don't know, whatever you call that bitter bite. It's like mildly sweet, not overly sweet, and delicious. Now some of you guys might be thinking, John, grape juice, man, that has a lot of sugar. Well, you know what? If you said that to me and you're still drinking like Coca-Cola or other sodas, you know, those have way more sugar than my grape juice that I'm drinking today. <laughs> so put your money where your mouth is, right? The next thing I'd like to say is that I always want to encourage you guys to do good, better, best, right? Yes, of course, we can, drink, we can eat the grapes if you chew them every mouthful into a mush. That'd be great. Some people just don't like to do that, they don't have the time, and sometimes, frankly, when you buy grapes at the store like I did, these happen to be organic grapes, and you eat them, they, they're not that sweet, they're kind of flavorless, and actually they don't taste too good, and I think that's a whole other problem in itself. So I don't like to eat grapes a lot of times, but when you juice them, it really concentrates out the flavor, removes all this fiber, and you know, talking about the fiber, I want to show you guys this, look at that, that's all the pulp that came out. 
we could grab this pulp, we could put it in my hand right here, look at that. It reduced all that, all those grapes into this, and I'm gonna squeeze this as hard as I can. Ugh! All right, we're squeezing a few drops of juice. You guys see that? But man, this is this juicer was very efficient. Not as efficient as like a hydraulic press, but it's probably the most efficient juicer that's gonna juice grapes really easily. Now I do recommend, you know, if you had seeded grapes, it even worked better because of hard seeds or some extra fiber to help push the soft grape pulp through the machine. All right, my mouth is a water and I gotta finish these grape juice. So all right, now we're gonna go ahead and sample the red uh, grape juice here. Mm. The red grape juice, actually sweeter than the purple one. And finally, we're gonna go ahead and try that uh, green grape juice. Yeah, this one's my least favorite of them all. So what did we learn today? We learned that fruits and vegetables have phytochemicals and phytonutrients. Every different kind of fruit and vegetable has different kinds and they have many beneficial properties to you guys. So we wanna maximize whether that's grapes, apples, you know, oranges, cactus pears, kale, carrots, celery, cucumbers, butternut squash. We want to maximize the plant foods and get them into us because not just focusing on grapes because and wine because they're so good. Every plant food is so good and you want to maximize the amount you could get into. The best way to do that that I've found in all these years I've been into a healthy lifestyle is by juicing and more importantly juicing at a slow speed to maximize the phytonutrients and phytochemicals. When you do this, you'll get things like many of my customers have told me. You'll lose weight, you'll have more mental clarity, you'll feel better, you'll have more energy. These are huge in this day and age because you're literally putting nature's foods, God's foods, whatever you wanna say, into you. And it's really easy to start getting juices in you because they taste so great, especially if you're not into and hate your fruits and vegetables. And I have a really good video on uh, how to eat more vegetables if you hate them with some of my special tips on how to juice them so that they taste good for you and your kids. So yeah, I mean anyways, so I, I want to talk real quick about the, you know, the sugar in the grape juice real fast, going back to that real quick because I didn't get to finish my thought. My thought is simply this, you know, as much as there's some sugar in here, the grape juice that I made Basically, aside from the fiber here, has a lot of other nutrients. So there's, number one, living structured water. This is huge, this is very important. I don't recommend you guys drink your tap water. In many places they put chloramine, chlorine, fluoride, which is not good. That's why most people drink bottled water. But even better than bottled water is structured water. The grape juice here, the water has been filtered by the grape plant through all the little cellular structures of the grape vine and then it filters it and then it stores it in its little grapefruit. Yeah, not grapefruit, but grape, which is a fruit or actually a berry. And along when the plant puts the water in there in a structured format, it also adds things like vitamins and minerals, right? But more importantly, the things like the phytochemicals and phytonutrients. These are the most important things that you guys can be eaten that are not in soda. They just have the sugar with very little minerals, very little vitamins, if any, right? And, and actually a non-structured water, right? That's one of the worst things to put in. One of the best things is grape juice, right? But eat your grapes if you, you know, don't wanna drink juice. But you know what? I'm gonna drink my grape juice and enjoy it because it's one of the healthiest things that I do. Mmm. This stuff's so delicious. Now here's a tip. If you want like sparkling grape juice, take a little bit of like, um, sparkling spring water and add like a little bit of spring water to this just enough to get a little bit bubbly it's gonna taste great that's great for parties and all this kind of stuff and in this way you can get more health benefits from the grape juice that you're drinking the final thing I'd like to say is if you are gonna take the time to make fresh grape juice like I have today um, I want you guys to get the maximum benefits from it so you right after you make it you want to start drinking it and get it into you you don't want to like sit there and store it for like a couple weeks because actually it's going to go bad. It's actually going to start fermenting into alcohol more than likely over time. So yeah, drink it right after you make it. And if you do need to store it, fill it up in a you know sealed 
uh, thermos or glass jar to the brim so it's almost overflowing so you have no head space or no air space cap it off put it in your uh, fridge keep it really cold until you're going to drink it and i like to store my juices no more than 24 hours although you know many people store their juices for up to 72 hours but i always drink my juices uh you know for the most part unless there's extenuating circumstances within 24 hours but most of the time 99% of the time I drink the juice right after I make it like I'm gonna be enjoying all this grape juice right now mm. So delicious you guys got to get one of these juicers to make your own fresh grape juice so you guys could get the benefits of grapes and all the other delicious phytonutrient and phytochemical rich fruits and vegetables out there if you guys enjoyed this episode, I would encourage you to support me and my work, which allows me to continue to make these educational videos for you guys by purchase, purchasing your juicer at discountjuicers.com. This allows me to make these videos that you guys are watching today. If you guys have supported me in the past, I want to thank you for you guys' support. And if you guys are going to support me in the future, thank you in advance. It is much appreciated. I make many videos on YouTube to educate the public about health because I almost lost my life when I was younger and that's why I'm so passionate about this subject because we're not taught this in grade school on really the power and the benefits of the fruits and vegetables and to really minimize or get rid of entirely things like processed foods and animal foods in your diet and maximize the fruits and vegetables in your diet and the juicers, the number one appliance that could do just that for you guys. The other thing I'd say if you like guys like this episode, hey, please give me a thumbs up. It'll encourage me to make more episodes like this. Also, be sure to share this with a wine drinker you know that keeps telling you, oh, I drink wine for the benefits. Well, have them watch this video. They'll know they can get even more benefits without the uh, alcoholic side effect or maybe a desired effect, depending on who you ask. So, uh, yeah, and then also be sure to check my past episodes. I have over 450 episodes now. Share with you guys all aspects on uh, juicers, uh, selecting the right juicer for you, comparing juicers, and all this kind of stuff. And be sure to click that subscribe button before you leave uh, to be notified of my new and upcoming episodes I have coming out about every five to seven days. So uh, once again, my name is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors. Like I am. All right, this is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Today we have another exciting episode for you. And what we're going to do today in this episode is we're going to compare two juicers, one of my favorite things to do in the whole wide world, so that I could learn, you know, what juicer is best for certain situations. But more importantly, share with you guys how each juicer performs. You know, I'm lucky.